All right, I've got a good one for you today. It is gonna be setting a plugin default setting so that every time you open up a plugin inside of Pro Tools, it loads with those settings that you have saved. And that can be hugely beneficial. Let me show you why. So here's an example. I got a new plugin that I absolutely love called Nova Clip by the Modern Metal Songwriter guys. There's a link in the bio if you wanna check it out. But one of the features that I use almost every time is auto gain. And that just makes it so it doesn't get louder as I crank up the clipping. and. That's something I want on 99% of the time. So I'm gonna go ahead and turn that on. And now instead of having to do that every time I open up this plugin on any other track, what I can do is just go to preset, save settings as, I'm gonna call it Moff default example for this video. I've done that, but that's not good enough. If we opened it, it wouldn't come up with that setting. It would just be sitting there available for us. So now we have to go set as user default. And then one more step, This I don't know why it's like this, but you have to go down to setting preferences, set plugin default to user setting, which is already selected. I know that's crazy, but it's just the way it is as far as I can tell. If you don't do both of those, it doesn't seem to work. So let's test it. I will open up a new instance of Nova Clip. And there we are, same settings. And just to make sure this is really working, let's try it on a stereo track. So I will open up Nova Clip on a stereo track where I was on a mono track before and MOF default setting, auto gain is on. So you could set that to be whatever you want. You know, I could have my ceiling turned down. I could have some THD distortion already baked in and it's just gonna save me time and make it so that when I open a plugin, it is behaving as the tool I want it to be. I use this for my EQs. I use it for most of my effects, my reverbs. If there's a setting that you turn on every time, I highly encourage you to make a new default for it and then save it so that it opens up that way every time and it'll just get you mixing that little bit quicker and faster and you'll be having more fun. That's it for this one. Very, very quick. If you enjoyed this, please do subscribe and give this video a thumbs up. That really tells YouTube that I should push this video out there and that would be awesome for me. Okay, if you want to see another video and learn more about Pro Tools and Mixing, another video coming up for you around here.